Hi there, this is Megan Lloyd again with EO Movement. Thanks for joining us for this week's Techie Tip. We just talked about making the Google spreadsheet look beautiful. Now we get to dive really in and talk about the nitty gritty of it and how to make it work for you and your business. Um, we'll be talking about some lesser known functions or tools within the spreadsheet that will make it a lot quicker for you to access the information that you need and to organize it. So let's go ahead and go to the Google Doc that we've been using, that we used last time. Ta-da, there it is. All right, Control F will pop up this little tab up here. If you want to find something specific in the sheet, let's say you have a lot of data and you don't know where to find it. I'm gonna type in YouTube and suddenly YouTube highlights over here. So it shows me the things that I'm looking for. That's really helpful if you have a lot of information on your sheet. Adding a link, let's say that right here I wanted this to link to a specific web address so that if somebody clicks on it, it will immediately take them there. Click this insert link button and type in the web address that you would like it to be. I'm gonna have it be eomovement.org just for fun. And apply. Now when you click on it, a, link will, a hyperlink will appear above it. Click away and it will take you to that website. All right, sometimes with call, with spreadsheets, like this one, you can see there are too many columns and it's hard to keep track of information. So let's say that there are some columns that you need less than others that you would like to hide. Let's control or uh, select the D through F columns, right click, click hide columns, and they suddenly disappear. Now let's say that you need to find those columns again. You'll see that up here on the column letters, there are two arrows pointing away from each other. Just click it once and they will reappear. And sometimes, again with this spreadsheet, there's so much information going all the way over that sometimes I want to build a freeze columns over here so that I can still see them when I move over on my spreadsheet. You can do that by going up to the view tab and clicking freeze. You can choose to freeze the first row or first column, the second column, or you can even choose to freeze up to a certain column. So for today, let's just freeze one column. Oh, for some reason it's not working. Let's just freeze the F column so you can see what it looks like. View, freeze, one column. Oh, I see what it's doing. Actually, you can't freeze a column if there's a merged cell up here. So just so you can see what it looks like, let me unmerge my title up here. Now, if you need to freeze something, you can select it, view, freeze, one column. You can see it's kind of a, there's a space between it, so you can see which column is frozen. Now, if you scroll to the right, that column will always remain still, so you can see that the material in that column as you move through the spreadsheet. All right, so let's go ahead and undo that just so that, just so you know how it works. All right, if you're using your spreadsheet for maybe a, as a to-do list, which I like to do often, I like to cross off things on my to-do list. So you can do that by selecting the text that you want to cross off and going to format and strike through. And suddenly your text has been crossed off, but you can still see what was there. I use a lot of sheets for my spreadsheets and down here there's a plus button. Just click it to add another sheet. And you can, you can even click it and drag and drop it where it's needed. Right now, I'll put it in the back. <clears throat> Let's say that I need to add more, more rows that I've, between the ones that I've already created. So you click on the row that you want to create another, another row near. Right click, insert row above or below. I'll just do one above. And ta-da, there's another row. If you want to delete it, just select it and click delete, delete row. All right, F4 is one of my favorite commands in a spreadsheet. It feels like I often am using the same function over and over. So let's say I wanted to, if I go control B to this text, control bold, or bold, control B will bold it for you, but I want to repeat that same function over th multiple areas of text. Click the F4 button and suddenly it just repeats over and over. 
wherever you want it. And I use that quite often. That's a really, really helpful tool for me. I also use spreadsheets quite a bit if with a whole list of names and email addresses. Oftentimes we download things from the back office and it gives us a list of names and email addresses and I need to sort through them really quickly, often alphabetically. If you would like to sort things alphabetically, click on the column that you would like to sort. So let's assume this is like a last name, first name column. Um, set of columns. Select it, right click, sort A to Z, and suddenly the entire spreadsheet will alphabetize according to the column that you just did. Now it doesn't really work specifically for this spreadsheet. You can see it kind of made it ski wampus, but you can get you get the general idea that it alphabetized everything and moved it according to where it is in the alphabet. We're going to undo that because it doesn't really work here. There are also, obviously, with these Google, Google Docs, you will be sharing them with people. If you want to restrict what they can and cannot edit, we, talk, we did a little bit about that a few times ago. But if you want to maybe protect certain parts of your spreadsheet, even certain cells or certain um, sheets, entire sheets, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Go up to Tools and Protect Sheet. Now you can decide to do it according to sheet or to the uh, range of, of columns. Let's go ahead and do a sheet just for now. And when it says enter a description, this is just as a reference for you. I'm going to type it um, protect, protect sheet 2. And then it click set permissions and it will show a list of all of the people who currently have access to this document. You can choose specifically which people you want to be able to edit this document or this part of the document or not. So right now I'm okay with all these people having access. I'll click done, but if I wanted to restrict it, you could just click these boxes next, next to their names. Click done, change is saved. And now when you click, you see this little, the spreadsheet down here, the tab that we just worked on, there's a little lock sign. So we protected that sheet so that even though everybody on my sharing list can access the sheet and act and protect the two other sheets here, or, or they can edit the two other sheets here. They cannot edit this one. And that's really helpful if you have important information you don't want people to mess with, but you still want them to have access to the document and the content and edit other parts of the, of the spreadsheet as well. So it's kind of like the sharing permissions on another level. Another really helpful thing is the help button. There are a lot of um, functions that you can use to help you quickly get to a certain part in your spreadsheet or, or um, yeah. So basically go to help, keyboard functions or keyboard, keyboard short list, shortcuts. And you'll see an entire list of all the shortcuts you can use if you quickly need to undo or insert a note or move to a certain part in the spreadsheet open up a certain menu. There are just endless things you can do. You can memorize the ones that are most helpful for you. Um, most of the ones that I do have to do with editing and I've memorized a lot of these just because it's really quick for me to use my the keys on the board to get to certain places. So that is a little bit about how to manipulate a spreadsheet in Google to work better for you. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, if you have questions, feel free to email us at e or support at eomovement.org. Thanks again for joining us, and we will talk to you next time.